Hi gang, I'm Dr. Jay Brightley with Review for Chiropractic and Family Wellness here in Lamont. And I'm Larissa. She's just Larissa. <laughs> We're here to talk to you a little bit today about adductors. So where are your adductors? Inside your legs. Yep, so if you ever like sore and tight in here, we get a little bit of this in our office. Not, not a whole bunch, but we do get a, a little bit of like a tight, I feel like I pulled something in here. There's a couple different things you can do, a couple different ways you can stretch it out. So most commonly, Larissa, if you want to hit the floor, and show us what a, just a simple butterfly stretch. I used to do these in sixth grade. You bring your heels together as close as you can towards your gluteus maximus, also known as your butt. And you're just gonna, you're, I'm not gonna go and push down on her. So she could, she's pulling her legs towards her. And then you also can just go ahead and squeeze down on your, on your knees and just kind of push down. She can even lean forward a little bit. So you can play around a little bit with like flapping your wings like a butterfly and, and just sort of, pulling your heels back towards your, um, you get your gluteal region. So that's just the most basic thing from sixth grade. What we don't want to do is we don't want to be really, really aggressive and just start like flapping the wings right away and just like stretching something, tearing something. You want to actively do this. You want to slowly get in, you want to slowly stretch these muscles. So that's number one. Uh, we could do this standing. So I'll just go ahead and I'll do the standing str the straddle. So you're just like this and you're just slowly going to reach down and you can even reach down in between your legs reach a little bit side to side. Almost a little more hamstrings here, but this is just a really easy stretch for adductors. And you're just slowly gonna bring your legs apart. More on concrete here, so pretty easy for me to just go ahead and <laughs> split it and hurt myself. So make sure that you've got some like carpet or something that you're not gonna slide apart on. And you should feel that stretching in through here. Uh, simple squats. Do you wanna give us a, do you give us a squat? I, I got better pants on. Yeah. So just simple squats. This is a great way to stretch your, your adductors also. It's good for strengthening your, your, your glutes when you're doing a proper squat. Um, and you want to, want to make sure when you're doing a squat that you're, you're not, this is not a squat. So that's, that's not going to get the job done. You really want to engage your full knee. Unless of course you get knee problems or it hurts. Anytime something hurts, to buy talking to you, tell him to, you know, don't, don't go any further. So squats is a really great way. Whole body strength as well as stretch. Just air squats, no weight on. Great way to get started. You can also hang on the bottom. And you see me pushing my, my, uh, my thighs apart there. Really good for stretching your adductors also. On the side, it just looks like this. So uh, that's a squat and just a, kind of an alternate squat. Something else that I like to do at the gym as I'm getting warmed up is called a Cossack squat. So you want to stand with your legs apart. It's going to be a little bit hard to get because I got concrete floors in my office here. But what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to lean off to the side. And you want to try to get down into a full depth squat. If you cannot, most people cannot do this, go ahead and use your hands, put it on your leg, and just take that down all the way over. You'll feel that stretching in there, and then get it over to the other side also. So if you can't get into a full squat, that's fine, but you wanna work up to the point where you are getting all the way full depth into a squat, and just bring them that Cossack squat all the way over. Really good as you're getting warmer when you're working out. This is a really good one too, at the end of your warm up because uh, you can even hear me breathing a little bit harder. You're basically doing a one-legged squat. So this is a squat in the next version up. Start with the squat first and then get into the caustic squat. And as you're getting really warm, you can start to move that a little bit quicker. Okay, sartorius. I'll take sartorius. Um, so sartorius as a muscle, it, it's, a, it's in there with the adductors. Classic sartorius will come across from your hip. So I'm on my right-hand side come across the left to the inside and stretch all the way down here. This is a tough one to stretch. The Cossack squat probably does a pretty good job of lengthening that out. If you still feel like there's some pain with that, here's what it looks like. And go ahead and there's, you want to hang out there. You're trying to lengthen out this muscle. Take that for a moment, yeah. And you're just gonna, you read, so I'm stretching the right sartorius right now. And this is where you can have a friend come in and lightly push that down there. And you might feel that stretching across there. So this is my right leg and I'm pushing this down towards the floor to stretch sartorius. It is, an, it is kind of like an adductor. It's not really an adductor. It's just a little bit weird because most of your adductor muscles just hang out right in here. And they don't cross any planes. But the sartorius does cross planes. So that's where you need to get some rotational piece in there also to properly stretch. Again, strengthen this up to strengthen up the adductors. If you've done a really good weight routine and you've been on it, um, at the end of your squat day, you should feel like you're sore in here. After a squat day, this is a really good thing just to get into that deep squat, hang out at the bottom, 
drive those apart. So pre-leg workout, also post-leg workout, really good to do these. Check out some of our videos online, gang. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and I feel like I should, be, I should say this first, ever in pain, if there's any question, go ahead and send us a message. These might work for you, these might not work for you. Send us a message if you have any questions. We're here to help. Hope you enjoyed that video and hopefully you can put some of these into motion.